He's the world's first dual-arm collaborative robot. Baxter is designed in the US and introduced in Asia by a Hong Kong-based company. Firstly, it's the easy to programming and the safety. And the dual arm means that there's more flexibility in the uh, production line. It means that a right, right hand, a robot hand, picking something, doing some tasks, and then after the computer job, the second arm took it up to the other place. This is the, the dual arm advantage when you're using the dual arm in the collaborative robots. Baxter is among the many robotic and remote controlled products wowing visitors to the HKTDC Hong Kong Electronics Fair Spring Edition 2016, Asia's largest of the season. At the highly popular robotics and unmanned tech zone, drones and quadcopters come large and small. The wide Internet of Things selection includes these frames that bring to life loved ones and events. The software element of the Internet of Things also breaks new boundaries at the concurrent ICT Expo, as with this Pearson AR application, designed and developed in Hong Kong, offering augmented reality so that 3D models can pop up in books. Augmented reality, that is, uh, in the real world, we put in some digital data into the real world. Traditionally, teachers just teach classes using the book or PowerPoints, but in AR program, we make it more real. Our company, based in Hong Kong, Hong Kong office is the R&D office. So we have our programmers, and we have our CTOs, and we also have the implementation project team. So the whole program is made in Hong Kong. Some 3,400 exhibitors present their products and solutions at the two Hong Kong fairs. At the Electronics Fair, there are demonstrations, launches, networking events, and buyers' forums. And a seminar on the latest consumer trends in the connected world. Connected world, and we directly think about the interconnection between humans. Right? Uh, that's the first part. I actually think on the IoT side, we see um, interconnections between things. And that one is going to be a multi-trillion dollar market in the future. Think about Hong Kong as the single connector between West and East. I think Hong Kong is really in the center around that. Uh, the reason being is infrastructure, um, is the high brain power that we have over here, the high level of education that we have, and really the center of technology that everything brings together. Hong Kong is also seen as a connector in technology innovation for China's Belt and Road Initiative. China government push the robotic solutions. When it increases in future, it needs more automation solution to make the quality, quantity for the, their products. I think that one by one more can help our the robots to install it in the China. A new e-commerce zone at ICT Expo and a new mobile accessories zone at the Electronics Fair attract plenty of interest. Buyers to the shows come from around the world, including Latin America. I am from Bolivia, you know, and uh, I come with my friends from my company, which are from Uruguay and Argentina also. Basically interesting in new technologies that maybe at the moment is not available in our region. Also, the 3D printers uh, seems to be very interesting for us. It is very large, very interesting, and for us, you know, people that we are looking for new technologies is very important, no? That's why we are here. <laughs>